I want to talk about the social capital. This is a word that keeps popping up. But before we really go there, I want you to give people a really basic overview of what front, front Porch Forum offers neighbors, neighborhoods, all of us here. Sure. Yeah. We're a, a, a mission-driven uh, Vermont public benefit corporation, so a family-owned business with a social mission. And our mission is to help neighbors connect and build community. It's all about helping make each Vermont town and neighborhood more resilient in the face of a ever challenging socio ecological political economical environment that we live in so um, it's grown to the point where we serve every community in the state we have a staff of 27 employees now who make it all work we have our home built software uh, platform but you know it all what underlies it all is this concept the social model that you were just talking about of, of social capital and helping people connect with neighbors, feel more like they're part of a community. And, you know, when we first started, I assumed that if someone posted, you know, I need help rehabbing the, uh, the mother-in-law apartment behind my home because my, my actual mother-in-law needs a place to live and she's going to move in. And we can't afford, you know, to pay somebody to do it. Anybody willing to do kind of some barn raising? Well, if that actually, a person gets a good response and it happens, I always figured the person who's had the apartment, the mother-in-law, like they're the beneficiaries. Well, I've come to find out the people who show up and do the work also report having a huge benefit. And that starts to make more and more sense to me. But the surprise that we discovered through our own work in listening and through uh, external surveys that have been done by, by independent third parties is it's the other hundreds of neighbors who are kind of listening in to the exchange. They are impacted as well because now they say, well, I couldn't, you know, I'm not a carpenter. I didn't have anything to offer to help, but wow, I live in a community where this kind of stuff happens. And so to your earlier point, it, it's counter to the narrative of doom and gloom that we get so often through traditional media and big tech social media. 